Hi guys, it's Thorn, um, and I wanted to make this video in response to a couple of questions I've gotten in my inbox recently. Um, I've gotten these sorts of questions before, and this conversation is an old one, but I don't think I've ever made a video about this. I'm, I know I've never made a video about this, but I've probably talked about it in passing. Um, and that's the practice of ritual nudity in Wiccan ritual. Um, or going sky clad, as the, the phrase is. Um, so first of all, why be sky clad? There are a lot of reasons. You'll see different kinds of witches cite different reasons, and um, if you've read about working sky clad in books, you'll note that people give a lot of different explanations for why it's a preferable state to work in. Um, Gardner and some other early writers talked about how clothing inhibits the flow of energy, and being naked is um, a way to transmit magical power. Um, you'll also hear arguments about how working skyclad eliminates um, rank and hierarchy, how it's um, a strategy for leveling people in a coven so that um, you know, you're taking away people's demonstration of wealth and power and that sort of thing. Um, and then finally the conversation about liberation and this idea that working naked is um, a way of symbolically expressing freedom. Um, I think that there might be issues with all of those things, um, especially the first two. Uh, personally, I've found that um, it's less about the transmission of energy because I think if you're comfortable in ritual, you're comfortable with um, with magical practice, then your clothing isn't necessarily going to inhibit you. Um, I think that's just about skill and what you're used to. Um, I'd say it's less about that and more about triggering a kind of altered state. If you train yourself to work in a particular kind of environment, whether clothed or unclothed, you're going to have an easier time working in that environment um, if you do it repetitively, just like anything else. If you signal to your brain that it's time for rituals, particular smells or particular visual cues, um, it's easier to slip in the kind of mode that's conducive to magic or ritual. And I think working skyclad is the same sort of deal, so that um, like for me, because um, because I do practice, um, we do practice skyclad in our coven. Um, and generally speaking, gardenarians do practice skyclad, as do a lot of other BTW groups. Um, plus, some more eclectic styles practice skyclad. Um, it's it's a way of consciously shifting from mundane spaces to magical ones. It's not for everybody, um, but it's certainly a very effective trigger. Um, if we think about witchcraft as being ultimately about transgressing boundaries or hedge crossing or uh, however people phrase it, but that movement from the mundane into the magical, um, then the shedding of one's clothes, which, become, which come to be symbolic of um, the regular sort of material mundane world, um, that becomes a particularly powerful way of aiding in the crossing of those boundaries. Um, you're doing something that's, um, for a variety of mostly stupid reasons, transgressive. Um, it's, I don't know, you feel like you're up to something, right? <laughs> um, and that's, that's conducive for magical work, I've found. Um, the second, let's see, um, the equality thing. Right, the equality thing has never really made any sense to me because, of course, being naked um, actually, I don't think, does anything as far as leveling in a coven situation go just because as everybody with body issues, which is everybody, will tell you being naked doesn't make you feel equal to anybody. <laughs> like, I don't know anybody who, who, who feels that way. Um, I'm sure they're out there, but... Um, a lot of people are really self-conscious and the way your body looks often has a lot to say about your 
socioeconomic class, for example, I mean, if you've got, um, for example, some people have the time and energy to go and, you know, and are physically able to do something like go to a gym every day or work with a personal trainer or follow a very strict diet, etc. It's sort of like people wondering about, like, celebrities always being skinny and ripped and whatever. Well, you know, if my job was to look pretty all the time, I could probably manage it too. Like if I got paid to be pretty and go to the gym and had personal chefs to prepare my, you know, my 1500 calorie days, then I'd probably not struggle as much myself. Um, so body type, I mean, and, uh, and of course, like certain kinds of bodies are valued over other kinds of bodies in our culture. So um, I, I don't think that the, the, the equality argument flies, um, particularly in traditional Wiccan covens where like, no, that they, they are very hierarchical. Like the point is not to eliminate hierarchy. Um, so, and then there's just other ways to do it, right? You can designate rank with particular kind pieces of jewelry, things like that. Um, some people use tattoos, right? So there's other ways of conveying rank that don't involve clothing, per se. Um, second thing um, is the body issue stuff that I just touched upon. I've heard a lot of people say over the years that they could never work skyclad because they'd be too anxious, they're too self-conscious, they don't like the way they look, they don't want to be naked in front of strangers or other people, etc. Um, and they might think about doing it alone. I know plenty of people who say that they do it alone but won't do it in groups. Um, and you know, those are all valid reasons. I don't, I certainly don't think that people should ever be forced to work in the nude, but um, you know, like, I found that working ritual skyclad with a group actually did a lot to help me overcome some of the body issues I've struggled with over the course of my life. Um, I had the same kinds of hang-ups. I've got journal entries from when I was 13 or 14 or 15 about skyclad ritual and how I thought that was totally weird and it's fine for other people, but I'd never do it because... Uh, you know, I wasn't comfortable with my body, or I didn't want other people to see, or whatever. Um, and, you know, I obviously, like, I got older and I started doing trad stuff, and um, that was just a condition of working in the kind of coven that I wanted to work in, and I was actually surprised by how easy it was. Once, once you get over that initial sort of thought hurdle, um, and coming to the realization that pretty much everybody has body issues. Um, it doesn't, there doesn't actually seem to be this big correlation between what kind of body you have and whether or not you have issues at all. Um, everybody has stuff about their body that they don't like, which is not to say that everybody's body issues are equal, um, but once you realize that you know, I've never met that person who thinks they have the perfect body, and everyone I know is insecure about something. Um, and once you have that realization, your own hang-ups become manageable. I'm much happier with my body since beginning to practice skyclad in groups. Um, and, I mean, I, I know that that's the reason. Um, to me, that's, that's a big part of the liberation that people talk about. Being in an environment where you're so intent on what you're doing that you're not caught up in your own head and your own insecurity um, really helps to push you past those things. Um, I would say that having body issues is a spectacular reason to explore ritual nudity. Um, for me, that ended up being a really big help. Also, like. I get where trust is an issue, but trust is also the point of coven work to a big extent. And if you don't trust the people you're working with to not give you shit about your body, then you probably shouldn't be working with them. So it's the same kind of like, it's the same sort of thing when people will talk about how, 
you know, they can only have sex with the lights out because they don't want their partner to see them naked. And my first thought is always, well, why are you having sex with that person if you don't want them to see you naked? You know, and like I get the, these are complex issues, um, but those are questions to ask yourself if you find yourself that uncomfortable in whatever ritual environment you're in. Maybe you shouldn't be in it. Um, so yeah, then the last kind of question that I get is always the practical stuff. And people are always really awkward about asking these questions because, you know, they don't want to sound weird or like they're dwelling on something and they don't want to offend you, but like everybody's secretly thinking these things, right? Like, well, what do you do if you're a woman in circle and you're on your period? Or what if you're a dude and you get a boner? <laughs> like people have those kinds of questions. Um, you know, or what if, you know, obviously... It's, it can be really hard to do skyclad ritual outside. So a lot of people take it inside. And then what happens when you get the opportunity to go outside and you can't be naked anymore? Does it, does it screw with, with the magic or what happens? Um, you know, like what are, like these are concerns, right? Um, and I'll start out by saying, that skyclad ritual is remarkably unsexy. Like, you would be surprised how unsexy it is. Um, and I realize, you guys, you know, I realize that you can't always control those things, all right? Like, sometimes it's not because of anything that you're looking at or any, any kind of sensory thing. Sometimes it's just, like, hormone triggers, or so I've been told in seventh grade health class, right? When everybody, like, nocturnal emissions. Anyway. Um, but I, I've, I've never, like, I don't, it's not something to worry about, okay? Nobody, nobody's looking at your junk. Um, and if they are, they're doing it wrong. So, um, as for, like, the girl period question, like, we all know how to manage that stuff, pretty much. Like, you, you figure it out. Um, and then going out, like... Going outside is a problem, unless you own a private tract of land or you have the world's highest privacy fence. Working outside Skyclad is really challenging, if not totally impossible. But I found that a good way to get around this is using ritual robes, because the same kind of function is accomplished where you're still stepping out of mundane spaces and into magical ones, and if you've got special clothing for that, that still seems to get the job done for people. Um, so that works. Uh, that said, if you have the opportunity to do outdoor skyclad ritual, I highly recommend it because it's spectacular. So, I think that's everything. So there's, there's some naked questions, hopefully answered. Naked is cool, weirdly unsexy, and nobody cares about your boner.